Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we are going to make an arrangement that's going to be more of a low profile in a cube vase. So what I've done is I have filled my vase with fresh water and added a little flower food to it. And if you can kind of see how I gridded the top of this vase with floral tape. So it's a waterproof tape. I went ahead and added the grid to the top of the vase before I added water um, because if the vase ever gets um, wet, that tape won't stick. So I went ahead and added a grid right there to the top. What that's going to do is it gives enough um, grid that holds our flowers in place. Um, the mouth of this vase is really large. It's bigger than my hand. And so what happens is when you stick all your flowers in there, they want to topple out. With our grid, it helps to hold the flowers in place. So we are going to do a beautiful autumn arrangement and give it a few, um, we're going to be unique with our design. Um, I'm going to start out, I'm going to move some of our flowers around. Um, we've got lots of gorgeous autumn colors. Um, we've got some sunflowers and hydrangeas and roses. So as we go through and I add the flowers, I'll discuss what the flowers are. This is a hydrangea, just a standard hydrangea. It's actually a white hydrangea that we tinted with floral paint to be green. So it's a beautiful green color. I'm gonna take and remove some of the foliage from the flower, and I'm gonna use my floral knife, cut that stem at an angle, and tuck that right into the grid in that vase. And I'm gonna do that with each bloom. Pull my trash can over to me. I'm gonna do that with each bloom, and I'm just gonna nestle that right in to that grid. So there's our pretty green hydrangeas, but look how pretty they are. They're so vibrant and so pretty. I love that spring green color and it's perfect for all seasons. It's perfect for fall. It's perfect for winter. It's perfect for spring. Next, we're going to come in with these beautiful, um, I believe they're called Starfighter um, sunflowers. And so you can see they have a really pretty um, throat to them, a little bit of a pretty burgundy, and then they come out to a really deep um, golden yellow at the tips. These are going to be nestled down in those hydrangeas, so I'm cutting that stem kind of short, and I'm just going to nestle that beautiful sunflower right down in to those hydrangeas. Now the stems are really heavy on these on these sunflowers. They're really heavy, sturdy stems. And so that's the reason that it's so nice to have the grid because it does help hold those heavy stems in place. So I'm just taking that floral knife, cutting each of those stems at an angle and just nestling that right down in to that hydrangea. So we've got those sunflowers all the way around. Um, next, we are going to come in. Let's see what else we have over here. We have some beautiful, vibrant blue delphinium. So let's tuck this in and give us just a little height on this arrangement. Look at how pretty that one stem. It is so full and so pretty. I'm going to take um, that stem, cut it at an angle. I am going to pull a few of these little blooms off. I'm going to tuck that right in. I'm going to take my next stem. Remove any blooms that aren't pretty. Tuck that in. I'm 
gonna tuck him, I'm gonna cut him down just a little more. He's wanting to be heavy and lean too much, so there we go. So there's a little lime flower there. Next we will come in with some beautiful orange roses. So these roses are called Orange Crush. I'm such a beautiful, vibrant orange color. I'm gonna take and remove that foliage and I'm gonna pull off some of these guard petals. Anytime your rose has a petal that doesn't look pretty, go ahead and pull that off. It is not hurting the rose. I'm going to take that stem, that wire and press it right into that calyx and twist that wire right around that stem. Cut that stem at an angle and nestle it right into that arrangement. I'm going to take the second one. They have lots of pretty foliage on these stems. Remove any petals that don't look pretty. Take your wire and you're just pressing it into that little swollen calyx up underneath. Twist that wire right around the stem, cut it in an angle, and tuck it right into that arrangement. You can absolutely leave some of that foliage on that stem. It is pretty. All right. So there's our orange roses tucked in. So see how pretty they are all the way around. All right, so there's our orange roses, blue delphinium, starfighter sunflowers, and then green hydrangeas. Next, we're gonna come in with this beautiful Veronica. So Veronica, um, actually is a wonderful flower to plant in your yard. So hardy and so pretty. Um, and it's a beautiful cut flower. It also has some of the sweetest little buds on it. I, I love Veronica. It comes in some pretty colors. It comes in this beautiful purple. It comes in um, pinks and purples and whites usually. You're going to use it as kind of a lime type flower, but it's got a lot of whimsy, and that's my favorite part about it. It's just kind of a, a whimsical little flower. And again, it's really a very hardy perennial that you can plant in your yard. Now, I don't know how long the stems are usually when you plant it in your yard um, for cutting. We actually order it from our wholesaler or our local um, flower farm. I mean, flower, they're not local. But we order it from our, from Budsy that we get all our fresh flowers from. And I usually buy it in, um, in a mixture of colors just because it's fun to get all the colors. Okay, so there is our Veronica. Next we're going to come in, let's see what's next. Got that fifth rose. What about these Billy Balls? So this is called a Billy Ball or Crispedia. Um, they're little yellow orbs on the end of a stick. They are so much fun and so pretty to add in. Now, often people will um, take them and paint them different colors. Me, personally, you know, if you know me, you know I'm a yellow girl. I prefer, um, I prefer them natural. Another wonderful part about the Billy Balls is they dry beautifully. And so it's a great dried um, material. I actually have some at home. I used them in a fresh arrangement. Everything else died. I pulled the billy balls out and I have them tucked in little vases around the house. Um, they make me so happy. Um, in the fall, often we can get them in dyed colors. Um, but again, I just prefer, I just prefer yellow. I would just prefer you leave them alone. Okay, next we're gonna come in. I'm gonna put one more rose tucked in, I think. 
Okay, next we are going to come in with some pretty orange colored wax flower. I can get a stem. So wax flower comes in um, lots of color. This is actually a white that's dyed, this orange color, but it's beautiful for fall. Um, it comes in pinks and whites and um, usually the yellows and the oranges are dyed, but I don't mind it so much because it doesn't look fake. You know, I have a hard time with dyed materials that are not true to nature. Um, that's just hard for me. And so these don't, I don't mind them so much. So I'm just taking this wax flower and I'm breaking it off in smaller pieces and I'm just nestling it right into that hydrangea. The wonderful part about wax is one stem goes a long way. So I was able to use just this one stem throughout this little arrangement. So it works out great. Okay, so there's our pretty wax flower. Next we're going to come in with some eucalyptus. So this is called Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. Um, I love it when it's pretty. It's not always the prettiest. Um, often it is a seasonal product, um, but right now it's really, really very pretty. So I'm going to take it just like the wax and we're going to pull off some smaller stems and just go throughout this arrangement with our smaller stems of the eucalyptus. And I'm just pulling it off that stem, cutting the, the tip just kind of at an angle and nestling that right down into our vase. I like eucalyptus a lot. I like most all the varieties and it's just such a pretty foliage. It often dries pretty good also and so anytime you have a fresh bloom um, that will dry pretty, I love that because it lasts so much longer, right? It, and eucalyptus often dries pretty good especially like the baby blue or the spiraled uke. It dries so pretty. All right, and I have a few hypericum berries I thought we would tuck in just because they're kind of fun. Hypericum berries, you've heard me talk about them before. They come in lots of colors. Um, but the hypericum berry that we're gonna use today is going to be in this pretty white color. So it is a white berry. It often comes in reds and oranges, um, burgundy, green, kind of a peachy pinky color. But this white's really pretty. And I thought it was something different. It's just kind of a different, um, a different contrast in color. So that's always nice, I think, to add just a little surprise in a different color. And I love these little berries. Now, hypericum berries are also called coffee berries. Um, and if you'll look at them close, make sure that the foliage is pretty. Often, the foliage wants to not be so pretty. So, it's nothing wrong with the berries. Just pull that foliage off and it's not going to hurt it at all. And you can still use those berries for a longer amount of time. This is another material that dries pretty good. Um, as long as you remove the foliage, you'll find that the berries will last. Now they're gonna shrivel, but they're kind of fun in a um, dried material arrangement. All right, we're just about finished. I'm gonna add a one more, um, one more piece of foliage, type of foliage. So this is called Italian Ruscus. And if you'll look at it, it kind of gives us you a vining effect. It, it's really a very pretty foliage. Um, but you see, it lays, 
It's perfect to lay on a table for like if you wanted a garland. It, um, it's just a really pretty foliage. I like that it's dark green. It's just a different contrast to our um, eucalyptus. And so I thought we would add just a touch Just a touch of this and the nice part is you can cut it into smaller pieces and so you have different insertions in your arrangement. All right and there you have it. There is our fall birthday arrangement that we will be taking out for a birthday. Um, the, for, the flowers that we used include, um, we started with green hydrangeas, the sunflower, that autumn colored sunflower. We have blue delphinium. We have orange crush roses. We have billy balls or crispedia, veronica. We have the white hypericum berries. We have a little orange colored wax for filler flower, which is here and here. We have for our greenery, we have silver dollar eucalyptus and a little bit of Italian ruscus. Guys, thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions about how we do things, you know that you can always ask. You can drop that in the comments below. Um, and we are so happy to answer any questions you might have. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, be sure to do that. If you'll hit that little bell, it'll give you notification for when we have a new video. Guys, you have a wonderful day and we'll see you all real soon. Thank you.